Hey folks, Midpile, Program Manager in Windows Server here again from Ignite. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about something that we just announced a little bit ago. You may not have noticed it, you may not have heard about it, but it is hot patching for Windows Server. Now, if you've been paying attention, we've had hot patch in Windows Server Azure Edition now for about two years, but if you're not heavily into Azure, if you're not into IaaS stuff, if you work in some other cloud, or if you're mainly on-prem, you, you might not even heard about this. Hot patches are the ability for you to get a security update, patch Tuesday style, right? Bazillions of fixes and not reboot. That's all it is. So most of the year, instead of every single patch Tuesday rebooting your server, you'll get patched, you'll become secure instantly, and you will not restart. Your processes won't restart, nothing happens at all. So we decided to put this into regular Windows Server uh, vNext. And so what you'll be able to do is arc enable a server, subscribe to this patch service. Uh, may or may not be some kind of like moderate fee to this way, I don't really haven't decided this part yet. And then you get hot patches on the same normal schedule or you can control through any of your normal management tools, uh, Azure Update Manager, Windows Update for Business, uh, System Center, whatever stuff you use and get these patches where instead of dealing with every month a giant orchestration of servers being restarted, you can't restart too many because that might impact a workload, you can't restart this one until three in the morning because it will definitely hurt somebody's feelings. And uh, I'll give you an example. We had Xbox start using this. Xbox Live has been around for, you know, it's pushing 20 years now. They've got a lot of a lot of back end to it to keep gaming working all the time. Uh, about a thousand servers run in Azure, running the entire back end of Xbox Live gaming solutions. Okay, and it's got databases, it's got apps, it's got web servers, all this stuff. It's extremely mission critical because nobody wants to hear my game isn't working because of some Patch Tuesday going on, right? So for them to go through every month and get fully patched, they must do this very careful orchestration dance. And it takes them about three weeks out of that month to actually take care of all those patches on all those thousands of servers and databases without causing any interruption whatsoever. And so they switched over to hot patch um, a few months ago. And immediately their entire patch management took 48 hours. And they didn't have to reboot anything. So they were like, well, this is perfect. Not only am I, greatly shortening my window of vulnerability, right? This whole month where I don't have all the necessary hotfixes, I've got to carefully keep my business running to, I don't even have to do any careful orchestration for the two days that it takes me to deploy the patches. So they see a tremendous savings in time, productivity, reliability, just their own staff's, uh, you know, morale. <laughs> Think about all the time you got to spend late at night working on things that will just go away. And that option's coming to Windows Server vNext, and you'll be able to see it when we release the next version of Windows Server. Uh, and I hope you like it. Thanks.